Okay, so we are here in Lightroom, and I'm going to talk about something that I see happen all the time, and I see photos all the time posted on Facebook and other social media, and I don't want to tell them anything about it. I don't want to critique them or anything, so I decided to make a video about this. It's such a common problem. I see it with, with almost all new new people to Lightroom, new people to photography. They've taken a photograph. In this case here, we have a, a black vulture and it's the best image they took that day. And they are going to choose this image as the hill they are going to die on. Okay, they, 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 they look at, oh, it looks pretty good. They zoom into it. Okay, it's an ISO 20,000 image that they have increased the exposure 1.5 stops on this is a sony a9 which is a fairly low noise camera but in this situation you're in a you're up against it and even here we can see that this particular uh, black vulture is a little even a little bit out of focus just a tiny bit out of focus we don't have a lot of detail to work with here the blacks are blocked but I'm going to show you what a lot of people will do because they're going to look at this image and they're going to say, look at all the noise there. This has to go. They're going to come in here and they're going to go to the develop module and they're going to say, let me use this feature called denoise that's in Lightroom. They're going to click over here on the denoise button and they're going to come up here and they're going to go. Let me look at this thing like 300%, which is kind of what Lightroom defaults to. And they're going to say, I need to take this thing up. I need to take it up. I got to get rid of every piece of noise in this. Now, if you look, you can see what's happening. Lightroom has told you what's going to happen. And what's happened here is it's starting to smooth everything out because it's trying to denoise every piece of noise in here. It's trying to deal with the, the harshest noise in that background and it's, it's applying it to everything. And what people do is they're like, well, that looks pretty good, but it's, it's, they can, they, they'll see it. They'll see it's not working perfectly. And so they'll bring it back to 55 and they're just going to go with it and they're going to click enhance and they're going to wait for, uh, the denoise AI to work. Okay, the denoise AI finished. And now they're going to zoom in here and they're going to say, oh, look, the, the noise is much better. Look at that. Now we come over to the subject and look what has happened. We have smoothed out much of the details. Now, the black vulture has a very detailed head, very wrinkly. So we're still seeing a lot of the, the bigger um, features or details of the vulture. But look here, look how smooth all this is now. And so then they're going to say, uh, I, I, this has to be a lot sharper. Uh, it's not sharp enough. So then they're going to go over here and they're going to go into create their brush over here in the develop module. And they're going to say, well, I at least need the eye sharp. And they're going to, maybe they might come up in here too, just because it's not black. And then they're going to come over here and they're going to say, give me everything you got on the sharpness. And honestly, Lightroom did a fair job of trying to bring back those, those pieces. Now that's if they're smart. If they're smart, they did that. Most people don't even get that far. Okay. Now it still looks fake and, and smoothed out a lot. Um, maybe they're going to go in now and they're going to try to add a bunch of texture to it because I mean, texture is what we need texture. And thank goodness that Lightroom did put this texture slider in here because it does help. And you can see it's coming back, but I don't know if you can tell just how fake it's starting to look, um, as I do this. And not only that, but the noise is starting to come back because Lightroom is like, I gotta keep, I gotta, I gotta keep sharpening. I gotta keep sharpening. And what they end up with is a fake representation 
of what the bird actually looked like. Is it the best you can do in this scenario? I guess. But then they're going to go back and, and I mean, obviously there's other tools we could run this through. But then they're going to go back and they're going to post this all over the internet. Now, most people aren't even going to get this far, guys. Most people are not going to get this far. Hey, thanks for watching this video. You know, I really appreciate everyone out there actually watching all my videos and making the comments that you do. I wouldn't do this if it wasn't for that. And I just wanted to let you know that if you really would like to help support me, there's a couple ways that you can do it. One, it costs absolutely nothing. You can click like and subscribe down below. I know you hear that all the time, but it really does help uh, us creators out a lot and we could really use it. The other way, of course, is you can go out to my website. I sell merchandise out there for Matt Kuda Nature Photography. I sell all my images out there and uh, that would help me out a great deal. Now back to the video. What most people are going to do is they're going to just crank that. And this is what I see the most is they're going to go in there and just crank up the denoise to like 80. And you're going to wind up with this very, very smooth and flat image. Frankly, it's amazing that our cameras now can even handle, can even come up with something this good, right? But the truth of the matter is when you're behind the eight ball like that, I hate to say it, but, and this is subjective, but it may be just time to just say, you know what? I didn't get the shot. Okay. I didn't get the shot. It's okay. I'll get it next time. You can leave this in Lightroom to go back to, uh, you know, maybe, you know, the, the technology keeps keeps getting better and better and better. And maybe they'll be able to reconstruct a lot of this and, and make it look good. But but bear in mind, if you are kind of a purist and you're like, I want to see exactly what took place that day with this black vulture. I want to see it as the camera captured it. When you get in here and start messing with these tools, even if it's a, a good tool like Topaz or, you know, DxO or something like that you're still manipulating the image heavily. Let's just put it that way. And a lot of times it can end up with a cartoony look. It can end up with just some crazy stuff. Let's, let me show you one more example of what happens when somebody cranks this thing up to ridiculous levels. So they come over here, they go to develop module, come down here to denoise, now, thank goodness we have Denoise AI now. Otherwise, this would be even worse because if you do this with just, just the main slider, it's it's even worse. It gets totally flat. But what they're going to do is they're going to come in here. They don't know what they're doing. They're going to grab this. They're going to look around and they're going to be like, oh, my goodness, look at all this noise. They're going to go up to like 80 because they think that's what they're supposed to do is get rid of every ounce of noise in the image. By the way, some noise is okay. It's okay to have a little bit of noise, but see, they're going to see that and go, Oh no, got to get more. Got to do Got to have a completely noise free image. They're going to go up to 92, right? They're going to click enhance. And this is what is going to end up happening. This is what I see a lot, not a lot. Okay. But I see enough of these on a, on a monthly basis and, and you just, don't do it. You you miss the shot. Either do what I did and, and kind of be happy with it. Use some, you know, purchase some other tools like Topaz or DxO Mark or whatever's out there. There's there's different tools. I'm not here to tell you to get one tool over another. I happen to like Topaz. Uh, Topaz, Topaz does require a little bit of thought when you when you work with it, but such is life, right? Okay, so we're back with what most people will do here. And look how smooth this is now. You've lost all the micro detail and everything. And this is what people will put on the internet. I see it all the time. It's like, oh, I denoised it. It's good enough. I mean, and that's okay. If it, you know, I'm not trying to say, like, if you're happy with that, fine. I'm happy with it too, okay? But I'm just trying to say, if you want to take it to the next level, and you want to actually become more of a professional, quote, professional photographer or advanced amateur photographer, then you're not going to be happy with this. It's a good learning experience. It's a great way to play around with the AI tools. And it's a great way to see what is acceptable and not acceptable to you. 
this to me is not acceptable. It's just completely smoothed out. And it may be hard for you to even see that completely on a television, like on a 4K TV or something. Um, this is in 4K, so you should see it as I see it. Uh, but on a phone, you're going to have a very difficult time seeing what I'm seeing. Anyway, that's all I had for this video. Thanks for watching. Make it a great day and get out there and enjoy nature. Bye-bye.